For a long time, Peruvians have lived under the belief that their country didn't give them many reasons to feel proud. A feeling of low self-esteem and no appreciation for our own culture, despite having many fold assets to conquer the world. Once the first country brand in the history of this nation was ready, the first challenge wasn't to launch it to the world, but to sell it first and foremost to the Peruvians themselves. We relied on a finding, a small forgotten village in Nebraska called Peru, a homonym of the country. Peru, Nebraska has a problem. Although they are Peruvian, they don't know what it means to be Peruvian. Our mission, to be ambassadors of our country and to read them their rights as Peruvians. Now to begin with the food, Gaston Acurio, one of the world's top 10 chefs, led a delegation of Peruvian celebrities. World surfing champions Gabriel Villarán and Sofia Milanovic taught them how to surf without water. We replaced the sheriff's donuts with uh, our traditional pastries. Picaron. But we didn't only introduce them to our gastronomy, we also brought along folklore, a llama, and an actual Peruvian hairless dog. Furthermore, the Inca tradition of cooking under the ground made it to a local garden. Peruvian literary masterpieces were snuck into the library of Peru State College. We handed out Peruvian IDs called DNIs to citizens who were born on Peruvian Independence Day, July 28th. And in their local watering hole, Rednecks, Peru Negro, an Afro-Peruvian musical ensemble, gave the word dance a whole new meaning. And Juan Diego Flores, the best tenor in the world, surprised the audience with Peruvian songs broadcasted from a local radio station. First colonization process carried out through a warm and affectionate conquest whereby the hegemonic culture became the Peruvian culture, to the extent that popular Peruvian games ended up officially incorporated into the local festivities. But to share the strong impact of our country brand with Peruvians from Peru, South America, we edited a 15-minute documentary that generated an unprecedented thrill. This documentary became the second most viewed video on YouTube worldwide and the most successful viral campaign in the history of Peru, with over 1 million viewings online. In other words, more than 16 million minutes of viewing. Simultaneously, we created 11 TV episodes of When Peru, South America, Peruvianized Peru, Nebraska. Media coverage and comments on social networks were the talk of the nation, which increased country brand awareness to astronomical levels, resulting in free advertising equivalent to almost $2 million and a positive record of 99%. The country brand was spontaneously adopted by Peruvians everywhere in multiple ways, even competing with the national flag itself. Local announcers even asked us to include it in their communications for free, saving us a fortune in broadcasting. Before selling Peru to the world, we had to sell it to Peruvians. Our country brand managed to generate pride and self-esteem like no history book or national landmark had ever succeeded in doing. Millions of Peruvians are fans and ambassadors of their country brand, with more and more joining as proud supporters every day. 